Here are two maps from National Geographic. This one is like the classic political world map. I'm going to zoom in here and I want to show you what I love so much about the design here. Just look at this color palette. It's fantastic. What they're using here are like these colored inner strokes for the country borders. It really brings me back to like being in school. I feel like any classroom where you'd walk in, whether it was elementary or like high school, you'd have one of these maps on the wall somewhere. And here's another map with a slightly different look and still it's absolutely beautiful. It has like the colored borders. However, the further you get away from the border here, it like fades in opacity. So last year I was working for this client and we were making a ton of maps and literally like days before we had to deliver all the maps, he wanted to make some, some like stylistic changes. And he sent me a sample uh, that looked very similar to this National Geographic map and, and said, hey, I love the borders here. Can we try to match the look of these borders? And unfortunately in the time allotted, I just couldn't get it to look good. So soon after that job, I set aside some time to really figure out how to make it look good and like create some presets. So next time around, I could just take the look, quickly apply it. So in today's episode of Monday Maps, I wanna show you how you can quickly create these borders and get like the National Geographic look. So let's say this is a project where we're doing borders of Europe. Let's focus on like France and Germany here. I'm gonna create a map comp and I'm gonna go with the Esri map style here because it's like kind of similar to the National Geographic look. In fact, I have a super secret tip for you and I'll show it to you, but you have to watch till the end of the video. So I'm gonna go over to the search bar here and I'm gonna type in France. So it'll show me the map data here. So here's the country. So I'm gonna go over and click draw. Okay, so here's France. Now with this layer selected, I'm gonna go to layer, layer styles, and I'm gonna select inner glow. I'm gonna open up the parameters for inner glow. So you can see down here, it has its own blend mode. There's a bunch of different parameters. So the way layer styles works is that they're applied, like they're the last thing that's applied in the render order. So you have like a masks and then effects and then transformation properties and then layer styles and that's switched for vector layers. It's all kind of complicated and it's gonna pose some problems, but I'll show you how it works. So I'm, I'm just first gonna switch the blend mode to normal so we can see what's going on. I'm gonna switch the color to like a red or pink. And now I can start to see something here. I have a little bit of an inner glow. We'll turn the opacity up to 100. Um, and there's just a ton of parameters here. I can change, I have noise parameters. I can do a gradient instead of a single color. I'm just gonna go to size and let's start to really crank this up. And then pretty much right away, I've already kind of achieved a look that is very, very similar. My problem now is that I have this white fill. Now you would think, oh, let me go up here and let me just turn off the fill up here, but that doesn't work. What you need to do is go down here to the layer styles blending options. Open this up and then open up advanced blending and then you have a fill opacity right here. And you can turn this down to zero and then now voila. And that's pretty cool, but by itself, it really doesn't look that great. So what I wanna do now is I wanna create the border of Germany because when the borders are together, that's when the magic happens. I think I'm actually gonna turn the size up. Okay, that's looking good. And I like to get it all set up on one country so then I can just apply it to other countries. So speaking of which, I'm gonna go and type in Germany in the search bar. And here we have Germany. I'm gonna draw this. And now a really quick way to apply this is just to simply copy the layer style and then paste it on Germany. And now I'm immediately gonna have the same exact look. And to change the color of this, I'm gonna go down to the inner glow, find this, and then quickly switch it over to a blue. All right, very cool. Now that's still a few steps. You have to copy and then paste and then change the color. So I'm gonna show you an even more efficient way to do that. So I can quickly rig this up as an animation preset that you can just quickly apply on there. So I just need to pick the parameters that I want to be able to edit. So first I wanna be able to edit color. So for this, I'm gonna to go to Germany and I'm gonna add a color control to effect controls here. And I'm gonna attach the inner, well, first I need to copy this color and I'm gonna apply it to my color control here. Bring that color back. So now I can control the color there. And let's say I wanna add another slider control and this will be the size. So I'll be able to quickly control the size and the color. And I'll just go to size, attach that here. And now I can switch that back to 35. And now to turn this into an animation preset, I'm gonna select what I want as the preset. So I'm gonna grab the color control, control click size, and control click layer styles. And then over in effects and presets panel, I'll click on the menu here, and I'll do save animation preset, and I'll call this National Geographic Borders. 
And now let's see how we can apply this. So let's go grab Belgium, draw out Belgium. And in fact, I'm just gonna draw out a couple countries real quick. All right, I've added these eight other country shapes. Let's see what happens when I add my National Geographic borders, if I just double click. Now when I click on the layer, I have the color controls right here. I don't have to dive down, so I can just quickly, um, you know, create some different looks. All right, now when I turn that off, you can see what we did here. And now I'm just gonna turn the opacity of all these down, make them a little subtle. And naturally, you can see it's important to get the uh, first one correct because when you paste them, uh, making master changes can take a little bit of time. But you can see I did this in like under 15 minutes here. Really cool. All right, I want to show you another method. I'm going to turn all these layers off. In fact, let's just hide them. An even faster way to achieve this look is to go to the settings of your map comp, go to imagery, and then look under style. Oh my goodness, why did we just watch? So this is the real, this, these are the Esri pros that put this together. Okay, so there you have it. That's how you make those beautiful colored country borders like National Geographic does. As always, if you liked the video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button. If you wanna see more map related content, be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. If you wanna go check out more National Geographic maps, they have an Instagram account called Nat Geo Maps or something like that. I'll link to it down in the video description, it's super cool. Um, I'm also very, very close to setting up a Patreon um, because this would be a perfect opportunity to give away these presets um, to, to patrons. So again, if you would be willing to join a Patreon page, let me know down in the comment section. It would really um, make me more enthusiastic about getting it set up to have like freebies like this, the project file, as well as the uh, animation presets is what you would get. I'll see you in the next episode.